So after doing a little bit of research on some of my most favorite iPhones, I started coming across some particular older iPhones that I think are very cheap for what you can basically get within them. And I will definitely tell you if you're in the market and you're looking for a newer iPhone, well, you know, these are not the newest iPhones you can buy, but these are very, very decent priced iPhones that I've been able to see in a lot of different conditions. And the main one I want to hit on in this particular video is the iPhone 12. This particular iPhone, in my personal opinion, is a very, very interesting iPhone to go and pick up because the body of it still holds up fairly well. The internals really aren't even like that outdated, you know, comparatively speaking. And I will tell you, probably for the average person out there, if you're looking for a good, cheap iPhone, this is a very, very cheap iPhone that you can buy that's going to give you a very good experience for the next couple of years. Now, the first thing I want to say is that cheap is kind of subjective. And this particular iPhone, you can basically buy for probably around 200 ish to about $250 in the used market. So if you're planning on buying an iPhone, that is the price of this particular device. So the good news is it's not the most expensive thing in the world. You know, it's not, you know, $1,000 or $800 like the iPhone 15s. This iPhone is like a quarter of that price, you know, depending on which one you're looking at, which is very, very impressive. The big thing I want to hit on is the body. The body of this particular iPhone still holds up extremely well, even against the iPhone 15s. The thing you have to remember is that with the iPhone 15, 14, 13, so on and so forth, those iPhones all kind of stemmed and re you know, kind of reused the design of the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 brought back the flat sides. Before that, it was curved sides for a while. So it's very, very cool that we were able to get that type of capability on this particular iPhone, like get those flat sides on this particular device with a really nice display. And this in and of itself was a very, very cool and nice thing going on for this particular iPhone at that moment. Now, on top of that, this particular device is also giving you a very nice display as well. So that 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display was still very good. I think it was a very, very nice display at that time. And I still think it looks very good when it comes down to it. It's a 60 hertz panel. It's not terrible, but it's a good panel. And no matter really what you're going to throw at it on this iPhone, reasonably speaking, it is going to be slower than the current generation iPhone. You know, it has an older chipset and it has about half the amount of RAM as the iPhone, you know, 15s. 15 Pro, you know, for the most part. But this is still a very good performing iPhone and the Apple A14 Bionic chip with four gigabytes of RAM is still very, very relevant. And it's not even really like that outdated when it comes out, you know, when it kind of comes down to it. So I will tell you the iPhone 12, still a very decent iPhone to pick up. It's not the first iPhone I'd recommend people to buy, but for a cheap iPhone, this is like, if you're compared, you know, if you're worried about the price tag, this is a very good iPhone when it comes down to it. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.